In this video, I'm going to walk you through the hands-on challenge for create and customize list views. This is the third unit in the Lightning Experience customization module. Before I jump ahead to the hands-on challenge, I wanted to just explain two things that come up in this unit. The first is creating this new list view for channel customers. Uh, the type that's listed here is customer channel. And uh, if you notice, there was a couple of different options there in terms of the different types of custom customers that you could have. One of the things that's really important for salespeople is to understand how their customer came to them, because that's going to determine the sort of relationship that they're going to want to enter into them with. So for example, if the customer came to them because of an installation partner or a technology partner, then they want to make sure that those relationships are represented when they're having those conversations. If it came from uh, a reseller or um, you know a website or some other place, all of that information, just where the customer came from, is actually really important. And that's why we, you know, that's why these are, are broken up here. These options. Um, I don't know what channel means specifically here in the context of this business. Direct would be as like if they call them directly or came straight from their website. I'm not sure what channel necessarily means, um, but that's that. And also knowing which state they're in, that's probably also really important because salespeople typically are assigned territories or regions that they're responsible for managing. So somebody might be responsible for the West Coast, in which case they only want to see opportunities or accounts that are in the West Coast. So that's why that's important. Um, and this is just a, another e example of being able to customize Salesforce for your different users. So that way uh, they see just the information that they need. Um, but of course, list views is something that your users are able to configure for themselves. So Maybe it's, you know, rather than you going about configuring them all for your different users, just make sure you teach them and show them. And oh, by the way, there's some good content on Trailhead on how to do that. Okay. Uh, in terms of when we talked about this charts, obviously this is really cool to be able to pull these charts and see this directly uh, inside of your list view without having to create a report or add it to a dashboard. Only thing that sort of confused me here for a moment is here's where the gear icon is in the chart right down there. So just know that that's there. Otherwise, that's the rest of that's pretty straightforward. Let's go into the hands-on challenge. Lance Park, one of Ursa Major Solar's sales reps, wants to see a list of opportunities that are in the late stages of negotiation or have a high probability to close or both. Step into Lance's shoes and make that happen. So we're going to use the app launcher and open the sales app. So let's just click over here. We're in the sales app. Create an opportunity list view that says high probability opportunities. So new list view. High probability opportunities. Who can see it? Um, so all users can see this. Chances are in real life, you're not going to want to give Lance. Lance will probably not have permission to create a list view for all other users. Us I mean, it just depends on how you configure it for your organization. But if you have 300 employees, you're not going to want every employee being able to create list views for every other employee, because then there's just going to be tremendous numbers of list views. So keep that in mind. But right now you're the Salesforce administrator. So you could be creating this for everybody else. Just think about that. <laughs> keep it in mind. Show opportunity stages proposal or price quote or negotiation review and whose probability is greater or equal than to 50. So let's think about how we're going to do that. Stage add filter or stage. equals proposal or price quote or negotiation review, right? Those were the two. 
and whose probability is greater than 50. So we're going to click done here, and then we're going to add another filter. And we're going to say on the probability is greater than, is it equal to or greater than? Greater than or equal to 50. So let's do that. Done. Save. Well, that's cool. If I was Lens, I'd want to pin that. Okay. Let's check to make sure we got that right. Haha. <laughs> One thing I should have pointed out. When you create a new list view, you could only share a list view with specific groups of users. So as the Salesforce administrator, if you wanted to, let's say, create this list view of high probability, you know, high probability opportunities, you might just want to share it with your sales public group. Or if you had the West Coast one, you might just want to sell it with people who are part of the um, have the role of West Coast sales, right? So just thinking about all of the stuff that you learned from security about public groups and roles and all that, you could then fill this in and feed in that information and your knowledge into making things really powerful and really useful for your different groups of users. Okay, now we're done.